afternoon everyone. First of all, I apologise, there's not been a lot of videos out. Um, due to the current situation, things have been kind of tough. <coughs> so, where do we start? First things first, the truck build. Um, just before all this coronavirus and the lockdown stuff um, kicked off, um, me and the missus were having a chat uh, and she was coming around to the idea and more and more wanted to get out and do the stuff I do. Uh, and just generally getting out more, especially now with the lockdown as well, has brought it to light even more. Um, and she's given the go ahead. She will come out um, with the kids as well. Um, but obviously in the truck, there wasn't going to be enough room. It was only built for me and my son. Uh, so, plans have changed slightly. Uh, got in touch with a guy you know, uh, who builds L200s for expeditions, sends them all over the world. Um, got in touch with him, he offered me a really good price um, from the base I'd started. Um, he came down, he bought the truck off me, um, and that was that. Fortunately, it was just before the uh, the lockdown was put in place. So the, the money has come in a bit of a security, obviously with the things going off at the moment. Everybody's a bit panicky over money and stuff, but I've been furloughed. Uh, I do get 80% of my pay, so it's not too bad, uh, as I appreciate you know, not everybody's been as fortunate as I am. Uh, so, the truck's gone, and we're gonna move on to it. I'm gonna um, start looking when the lockdown's lifted. Um, for a fairly newish, I'm not talking brand new, I don't wanna spend that much money. Um, but along the ideas of uh, the video we crafted, the long wheelbase vans, um, I've just noticed one of the videos from Urban Arc Overland, who I met at one of Richard's Bug Out Vehicles UK, uh, meetups. Um, he's just gone on to a, uh, bought a nice Mercedes Sprinter, um, and that's what got me the idea. The missus saw the video and she thought that's quite nice. So the plan is, we're going to build a camper, um, a nice camper, so the wife can have the luxuries and stuff, um, but still I can still get out there uh, and enjoy things uh, and have a little bit of comfort really. Um, so that's that. So the truck went. Plans have been put on hold, so in the meantime, everybody's locked down, starting to get a little bored, trying to keep myself busy. Um, and I always wanted a bush, uh, a bush box, sorry, uh, the little like stainless steel clip together camping stoves. When I saw the price, I thought, mm, I'm tight, I'm from Yorkshire, that's how it is. Um, so I build restaurants, I like Frankie and Benny, just having Wagamama, stuff like that. Um, and stainless steel is quite easy for me to come by, they clad all the walls in stainless steel, there's always loads of off cuts. Um, and I just picked the odd piece up. Um, so I had a bit of stainless steel, sat and dulled it out on a A4 piece of paper, did a basically a paper template uh, to make sure it would work. So um, this morning I thought, well, why not? Give me something to do uh, and I get something out of it. So I'll just click to the video now, uh, the next clip, and uh, show you how I got on. So as you can see from the last clip, I've had to do splitting in between because it's spitting with rain. Uh, as you can see from the last clip, um, you see me cut the first one out. Um, basically, just cut four of those out. Um, did the necessary notches for it all to look together. It's the first time I've ever met anything like this. It was just all a guinea pig idea. Um, so yeah, cut the four out, clean them up. Uh, basically, just lock them together, make sure it all clicks together nicely. Uh, there is a few things I'd change, but as you can see, next clip. Um, I cut the next four out, um, put it outside on the cast iron grate, uh, give it a little light, uh, we'll see how it went. As you can see, just to the side, unfortunately, I didn't get a video of it when I was cutting them out. I cut two like 40 mil strips, um, notched them so it held the box tight in a square and it interlocked in the center so everything holds nice and tight. Uh, it's worse than you want a pan full of food and it collapses. Uh, I won't be very happy. So, <clears throat> made the cross piece, uh, as you can see, 
with that a little fire inside um start with small pieces get bigger and bigger and bigger and we'll stick a pan on um a little bit of food no point wasting the fire so it's the next clip You can see, just getting a little fire started now. Let it take a little bit, put some bit of pieces on. We'll bang the kettle on, see if we can have a coffee. <coughs> so, as you can see, a little cast iron skillet, um, knocked up together, an egg banjo, a little bit of mushrooms, and it was lovely. Pan got sent to quite quick, I was really happy with it, it weren't roaring where, you know, I don't to lift the pan off, stuff like that, it was just a nice steady heat, cooked and absolutely fine, so we stuck the kettle on, uh, and we had a coffee, uh, no point wasting heat. So, I'm all the with that, yeah, I could have been a bought one, but do you know what, it's cost me nothing, it's practiced a few skills learning stuff and it's passed a few hours on a day where I'm starting to get a little bit bored so um, I'm gonna do what I can when I can in the meantime till we can get around to getting a van uh, or I'll have to go out and play out again uh, but it's as soon as we're allowed all this lockdown but they were allowed out um, I can't wait to get onto the coast a bit more sea fishing so I'll have some more fishing video and uh, fishing videos and hopefully we'll catch anything um, We'll have some cooking videos, probably take along the stove and whatever. Yeah. I've seen quite a few uh, people that do the like coastal foraging videos, which I absolutely love, and they take little gas portable stoves. But the problem with that is, though, um, you need gas, you've got to carry four gas canisters around with you because then things eat gas, um, unless you go for the camping style ones. But the people I tend to see do the foraging videos, um, and what have you, are the ones where you put you know a 500 mil gas canister in, click it shut, the general camping gas ones kind of style. Um, because they're cheap and cheerful. I thought if I take that along, just a few sticks in a rucksack, the bush box all comes apart, just falls down smaller than an A4 piece of paper, and it ends up when it's all squashed together being about, I don't know, 10 mil thick, if that. And uh, it's fairly light. Uh, so take that along, do a few cooking videos, which I want to get into and do it. Um, I've also got a shrimp net uh, that I've made. Uh, the shrimp in, I didn't realize how easy catching shrimp were um, three four feet out uh, depth wise into the sea um, I'll do a video on it if uh, anybody wants to see it and um, basically just go along with a giant landing net style and the shrimp jump up and catch them so hopefully we're gonna get out and do all that lot um, and much more to come then we'll eventually get around to getting the van and building a camper so thanks for sticking around thanks for watching um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe give us a like any comments down below um, positive criticism anything like that I'm open to us ideas and suggestions and um, things I could have done differently uh, and once again thank you very much